Welcome to The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. Hi, welcome to The Laboratory video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. My name is Akash and I'll be talking to you about Laurel, the HR bot, a cognitive chat bot that can answer to HR specific queries over a quick chat, which is built on Microsoft Bot Framework and Lewis Natural Language Processing Engine. In this video, I will introduce you to Laurel and explain its capabilities. Then I will touch upon the technology stack that's involved in building Laurel, followed by a detailed architecture. A section that provides a list of channels that Laurel can run on and a live demonstration will conclude the video. In most companies, the HR department representatives keep receiving a lot of emails from employees regarding paychecks, holidays, leave applications, and much more. It is a true fact that most of these queries are pretty similar and have almost the same response. It usually becomes difficult for the HR to respond back to the same emails day after day. In order to solve this exact same problem, we have built Laurel, the friendly HR bot. Laurel is a chatbot that can answer to HR specific queries of employees. It is designed to respond to requests almost immediately, hence the employees do not have to wait to receive a response from the HR. Plus, the HR department is relieved from writing redundant emails and thus they can utilize their time more efficiently. Let's see what Laurel is capable of. Laurel can answer questions regarding onboarding process for new employees. Laurel can process ID card status requests by employees. It can check whether it's a holiday on a particular day and process paycheck status related queries. It can also check whether the company can provide transportation to employees based off their residence address. Laurel can process leave requests for a single day or a sequence of days. Laurel can respond to all these queries almost immediately. Do you want to know how Laurel is able to process all these requests? Let me show you how. We shall now dive deep into what happens behind the scenes when a user makes a request to Laurel then understand what components are involved and their purposes. When someone wants to make a request to Laurel, they need to choose a channel. A channel in this context is the mode of communication between the user and the bot. Laurel is capable of catering to users on multiple channels like Skype, Microsoft Teams, Facebook Messenger and many more. Once the user decides the channel and makes a request, the message is sent to the Microsoft Bot Connector. This connector is a part of Microsoft Bot Framework that acts as a messaging broker which is capable of handling message passing and authentication. After ensuring that the message came from an authenticated user, the connector then passes the message to the bot that is hosted on Azure Cloud as an app service. A bot is a RESTful web service that can be hosted on any supported web service hosting platforms that has public URL with SSL enabled. Ideally, the Microsoft Bot Framework requires an HTTPS URL for the bot. Once the bot receives the message, it sends the message to Lewis, an NLP engine which is a part of Microsoft's cognitive services that processes the English message and resolves it into an intent and entities. An intent is an intention behind the message and entities are data items passed in the message. For example, a message, I would like to apply leave on 5th September 2017 would be resolved into an intent as apply leave and entity as 5th September 2017. Once the bot gets the resolved intent and entities, it now understands the user's query and processes it by connecting to a data store, 
In this case, it is a document DB instance in the Azure cloud. Once the bot finishes the processing, it creates a response message and then passes it back as a reply to the connector that forwards it to the user over the channel. All the mentioned actions are orchestrated in sync and occur almost instantly. Hence, the user feels as if he is being catered by an actual person. Among all the supported channels, we have chosen Cortana, MS Teams and Sky for Business to showcase Laurel. The reason being that Laurel is an HR bot and these channels are most used channels in the industry. Now let's see Laurel in action. Let's see how Laurel works in Cortana. Ask Laurel whether it's a holiday tomorrow. No, I cannot find any mention of a holiday on October 10th, 2017. So it knows tomorrow is not a holiday and by tomorrow it also is able to pick up tomorrow's date. Let's try that with a, with a different date. Is it a holiday on July 4th, 2017? Yes, July 4th, 2017 is a holiday. Yes, so it does recognize it as a holiday. Let me try a different use case. Do you provide transportation? Yes. Yes, we do provide transportation. So it knows where I live and then tells me whether the company can provide transportation to my address. And also provides me a link which can give me more information about transportation details and how I can avail those services. So this is Laurel that's running on Sky for Business. Let me test it with a use case. Let's say ID card status. I am requesting the status of my ID card. Yes, so it knows my ID card status and which is in printing. And it also tells me what's the expected uh, amount of time that it would take to move it from printing to complete it so that I could get the ID card. Let me show you another use case. I am new to the company. Can you provide me the onboarding documents? So it gives me a link wherein I can download the onboarding documents, fill them and send it to the HR email address. So this is how easy it is to communicate with Laurel. So this is Laurel that's running on Microsoft Teams. Let's try it out here. I'll query for the status of my paycheck. Let me say I'm requesting the status of my paycheck. See, it knows my last paycheck process date and then gives me some information about that. If it does not find it, it will say that it, not, it did not find it and then I can reach out in the provided email address. Next, I will show you another use case that is applying leave. Let's say I want to apply leave. Great, it asks, asks me for my start date. I will say October 11, 2017. So now it needs my end date. Mm, I will say 12th of October. So October 12th, 2017. 
I can give the date in any format that I want. So, a reason for the leave. I will say personal day. Great. So my leave request has been submitted to my manager. So it knows who my manager is and then sends a mail to the manager with my leave request. Thank you. Thank you for watching The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. For more on innovation, please visit miraclesoft.com slash thelabs.